So guys, this morning I feel for eat some flitters, some codfish fritters. And see, I'm still in my pajama, but hey, I feel for eat some flitters, so I'm going to make some codfish flitters. I'm going to show you know how to do them here. And them nice, them was so nice when them done. But anyway, let me get into them. Here I got a pack of boneless codfish, saltfish, same thing from Myers. I found it at the Myers store here. And I got some onion powder, some salt, some sea salt, some black pepper. And guess what? Me get scallion and thyme from my own backyard and those peppers. I'll be using those in it. Onion. I have a, a, a purple onion I'll be dicing up. And there go the salt fish. Boil off, boil the salt off of it and cut up, diced up all the onions, the um, the green onions, the scallion, the thyme, all that diced up. Gonna put it in the salt fish. So first we had to boil off the salt off the salt fish two times. Boil off the water, throw it away, boil it, throw the water away, boil it again. The second water, me save some of the water because I'm gonna use that water with less salt in it to mix up my 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 flitters mix. So I'm gonna put some flour in there. That's black pepper. So I cut up my onion, my scallion, my thyme, little black pepper, little salt, little onion powder, and then. After that, that's the salt me I put in there now. After that, me do about a cup and a half of flour. That are the oil on the fire heating. About you're not going to deep fry it, but you're going to pan fry the flitters. And this Cezanne seasoning, me put that in for color and look a flavor because it gets a nice yellowish oranges color. And then me put the flour in the mix. Well, me mix up all of that first. Make sure you mix up all of that first. Then this is me putting the flour in. All purpose flour. No self rising flour. And me use the water that me see from the boiled salt fish. And here I'm mixing it all up. Mix it all up. Mix it all up. You just go ahead and put water till you get a nice smooth consistency. I didn't measure my water. I just pour water in there. And I'm going to show you the consistency in a minute. How much, what consistency you need to get. But it's just pretty much stirring it, mixing it. Then once you get a nice consistency, see them and drop it in the hot grease. I had the oil on the fire. Um, um, I had the oil getting hot. And I get a spatula. I let it cook for a few minutes on one side. You're going to try to get them nice and golden brown. And I had the grease on the fire and I drop them with that um, soup spoon. I just use that soup spoon. I do two soup spoon to, or you can use like a tablespoon, two to a, to a fritter, to make a fritter. And I make them nice and golden, fried real good. And a lot of people drain theirs on paper towel. Put paper towel on that a plate nice. and drain that grease. Oh, oh. And oh my God. Let me tell you, your flitters gonna, should gonna come, come out good. nice and golden brown and pretty. I so also pretty. like my flitters thin. The so thinner, the crispy. You just fry it up, keep frying it, fry it, fry it up, fry it up. Flip it a couple of times, and this is what you're supposed to get. Look, pony pretty flitters, them. Me say, every chunk you bite, you get salt fish in it. Me use one pack of salt fish and me get 12 or 13 fritters. And they were so amazing. I remember 
my time and my skeleton that me use come from my backyard 